So, I wanted to do a video regarding the myth of, quote, reproductive rights, okay? Now, I got in an argument with a friend of mine's uh, family member who happens to be a very, very masculine lesbian about reproductive rights, okay? Now, I didn't bring it up, of course, because that's uh, uncalled for in the situation that was going on. But the point was that she, oh, she's also allegedly Native American, um, but what it boiled down to was she did not agree that heterosexual white men should be able to tell women what to do with their bodies. Okay, well, the fact of the matter is, I would like to point this out. One, there are no such thing, there's no, there shouldn't be a such thing as a right to commit infanticide. And I want to separate the term infanticide from medical abortion. Infanticide is the use of a medical procedure, or I should say a non-medical procedure, to remove a child and eliminate its life. That's what infanticide is, okay? Now, what's an abortion? A medical abortion, a medically necessary abortion, not infanticide, although that is the result. When an abortion is medically necessary, which is very rare, it's needed for the preservation of the mother's life, which is exceedingly rare these days. However, and, and another t time would be when the mother's life, the mother, there's no, 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 no knowledge of a pregnancy, so treatment is given to the mother that results in the, the death of the embryo or fetus. But what's interesting with um, this uh, woman, for example, who is a very, very gay lesbian, is the fact that if a heterosexual straight man does not have the um, say over what a woman does with her body, why should a lesbian? The fact of the matter is, a lesbian cannot have procreative sex with another woman, okay? They need to add a man to the mix to have procreative sex. So, the fact of the matter is, I believe in a right to medication in the civilized world. I believe in socialized medicine. I believe everybody should have a right to basic health care, including... Uh, reproductive counseling, genetic counseling, these things. I think they should all be required by law that people have rights to this. However, abortion, which is not a medical procedure, because it's basically the execution of an of a unborn infant, should not be included in this. And this is where things get out of hand, is the, the concept that um, a lesbian should have a say in quote, reproductive rights. Now, mind you, there's no such thing as a right to commit murder, which is what abortion actually is. Now, I draw the line when I say that embryonic termination and things like that, when you're selecting for a better, better genes through embryonic selection, I don't think that's murder. But when you're talking about aborting a living a living fetus, which is what it is, not saying an embryo is not alive, but when it gets to the point of fetal development and the central nervous system develops and all this, that's when you have to start considering it to be legit murder. Now, what's funny is, if somebody murdered a woman that was pregnant, they would be charged with two counts of murder, the murder of the woman and the murder of the infant. However, when a woman murders her baby because she doesn't want the hang-ups of that, that's not considered infanticide. That's considered, oh, that's birth control. No, that's not birth control. That's infanticide. Now, to go further, I also believe that there should be more funding of orphanages and things like this from the federal and state level so that women have a legitimate option with, instead of abortion, they could give their kids to a legit orphanage or things of that level or things of that nature where the child could be taken care of properly. However, the point with the heterosexual white men and how heterosexual white men supposedly are making reproductive uh, decisions for women is absolute hogwash. Most American women are pro-life. So that's the truth. The other truth is this. It's not heterosexual white men that are making decisions to have premarital sex with 10 different men and getting pregnant. No, that is the decision of the woman. And as Anton Zandor LaVey says in the Satanic Bible, this is the Satanic Bible, mind you, a stupid woman should have no right to do with somebody else's body what they were too stupid. This is the thing. A woman doesn't, I'm going to paraphrase, a woman doesn't have a right to terminate someone else's life because she was too foolish to take pre measure, uh, pre uh, what do you call it, uh, take a, uh, 
uh, uh, what do you call it, a birth control or to have her significant other use birth control or things of that nature. The problem is that to assume that a woman has the right to terminate somebody else's life because that life resides within them is absolute insanity. However, I do say that medically necessary abortions are legit, but the problem with that is you can't use that for an argument for birth control based abortions because medically necessary abortions are exceedingly rare these days.